What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and you know what, after the last video re we recorded, I was kind of sitting here and like, wait, we can actually do something immediately on this account, something we haven't done yet, and that is use Eloise in PvE, so, here's what we're gonna do, we are gonna jump on our Tix copies here, we're gonna just fully regress out all the imprints we have right now, we have a sum on everybody, Let's do that right there. And then lastly, let's get this ticks as well. Yeah, we got a little bit. Do we need it? Yes. Oh, uh, we're at what? 4.4. We're almost at 5 million. Oh my goodness. We are almost at 5 million stellar. We don't have stellar on anybody else, right? Mm, okay, hold on, hold on. We got six cores from doing the event. We do have a sphere. A sphere is 250. 250. Yeah, we would need to get two more spheres to get V4. Is that correct? I think so. We're going to give it a try, though. Maybe we get super, super lucky here and manage to find ourselves exactly what we need. Come on. Come on. Just give me, give me two spheres in these last four. Just do it for Barry. Come on. Right here. No. Give me at least one. Okay. I take it back. Give me one. Give me one sphere. Oh, just one. Uh, just one. Give me one. Give me one. One, 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 one. One, one, one. One, one. One, one. Oh, we got a carry. Okay. I guess I can take that, but I really want a sphere. Give me that sphere. I'll trade a carry for a sphere. Oh, you game. So mean. So mean. So... Hey, we got an extra one. 80 cores used. Nice. This one's going to be lucky right here in the middle. <laughs> it's still not enough, though. It's not enough to get V4. <laughs> it's only 500,000. We are 100,000 short, and I don't think we can get that anywhere else, right? Even in the market here. Yeah, I already bought, I already bought them all out. Ugh frustrating did we already claim this yes we did we could attempt to attack but there's no way we get a hundred thousand really the only way would be more cores what is this one at zero of 15 i guess we don't go v4 and i guess because we don't have enough for v4 I guess what we do is we save these up just in case we need them to build a Jara, which I think we might have to. We might spend a little bit when that time comes as well. No V4. Bad face. But hey, we'll imprint her as far as we can. Because I think she's going to do really good on this count, including PvP. The one downside of doing this right here is it does make our trip into the vortex a little bit more difficult not having those imprints on the ticks but we can take a look at her and see what type of damage she can do in the vortex maybe it's good i don't know we can use her with like a damage reduction artifact i did i mean you guys remember we did do realms gate and she did really really good damage in realms gate like really good damage so that's something honestly you might see a bunch of videos today just on this one account or we might spread them out i'm not sure we'll see she's definitely a fun hero she can be viable in the end game as well but you need like a very specific type of setup and account to make it work this one right here is really big getting the v3 we're gonna go for this node here get the attack all the way up um speed you know i really don't care about her speed at all we're going to get this node done on top of that. And yeah, we are just shy. You need about 900,000. If I do 200, this only puts us at like 63. We would need one more. So what are we going to do for gearing? That is the question. Anybody have some six star gear? Yeah, there's some six star gear. There it is. Okay, let's swap this up. What's the, oh, 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 I'm clicking all over the place. I'm going way too fast. <laughs> Let's swap these pieces and keep the weapon and do a one, three split gear. I'm thinking since we are doing PVE, we go in with the antlers cane attack block. That should be fine. 
That should be fine. She can't break out of CC, right? No, she's not like Horus. Can't just immediately break out of CC conveniently. Uh, we'll throw the A and B on you. We, of course, need the Heart Watcher with some gear here. Some damage reduction. That'll be good. Wait, hold on. That's not good. I take it back. That's not good. Uh, three star gear? Yeah. Do we have any higher tier? Oh, we do. We can throw some ranger gear on for the extra HP bonuses, and then we can change this back up to four star. No five star, right? Nope. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be decent. So we got the one, two, three set up. I think we're going to use two of these Ignis, just like tanky mode, and try to feed Eloise more actives. Who should the last one be? I guess just like an Amon Ra. That should be fine. Wait, no, not Amon Ra. We need to burn. We definitely need the Delacium. No, the Death Sworn. Ah! <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Let's get going. Let's give brave. No, 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 not brave trial. Let's give broken spaces our attention. So let's remove you three. Let's throw you in. Actually, we're going to put her in this slot. I want to try to feed actives to the Eloise if possible. I think that's set up. Man, only two E5s. Let's see how this is actually going to go. I am not sure. We will keep this at three times speed. Uh, shouldn't really need anything else. So this way, she'll get an active off, and then Ignis will feed her energy. Give her another active. Give her another active. It actually works out that that one Ignis was stunned. That was some good damage. Let's move on to the next stage. Let's go. And now all of the resources we're collecting are going to go towards the next Eloise. I'd love to run two of them to see how that works out. Sadly, we don't have a crown or anything really good on this account, so we're going to have to stick with building the A and B on her, I think. Oh, no. Yep, yep. Okay, that's good. That's good. Sadly, all their actives are going to line up. She's just going to have a super active with tons of extra skill damage coming their way. <laughs> Man, 5 million count. 10 million around healing. That's crazy. Uh, if only we could sync these energies up a little bit better you know in this case the fact that some of these heroes do hit slot one we probably want to say ignore the double cheesing right hmm this team does work out because drake is our fastest so we get max mark damage i feel like this is taking a long time to beat Hmm, I don't know. That felt like it took a really long time to beat that level. Who could we use instead of another Ignis? Should we bother? Should we like? Should we just do something like this instead? I guess, right? There's really no other options on this account. Ticks don't do anything. We could use Aspens for more damage, but I kind of want to see just what Eloise can do. Like this is kind of a, a mid-game account-esque look to to broken spaces how it would work if she was your first e5 and then somehow you built like a, a stronger drake not even an e5 but like a 10 star drake for support and same with the uh the igni and we just have a regular old antlers cane on wait do we have a kiss a ghost i bet a kiss a ghost would do better wouldn't it i don't know maybe yeah i don't know can't decide. Overall, though, the damage is not looking that great, is it? I mean, it's okay. We already know she's like the god of sea land. We can't do sea land on this account, however. But thanks to Brad, thank you again for letting us use your account yesterday. That, that went really, really, really well. Like, really well with a pet that wasn't even close to maxed out. Like, not even close. Oh goodness, does this mean this wave's gonna take multiple attempts here? I think it might. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I wonder how much damage was Drake. Uh, quite a bit considering we have zero assassin tech. It's not that bad. Okay, let's just smash this one out. We'll do two more badges here. 
Uh, we're gonna replace our team the way we want it. Throw the two Ignis in there, get that smash on. All right, so what was that? Three, four, five attempts so far. Oh, good Lord, let's see how this one works out. There's gonna be a lot of counterattacks. Thankfully, there's times three speed, so we will watch the first fight to see what the damage looks like. There should be a lot of counterattacks at the very least from Eloise. Problem is all those debuffs, but honestly, a lot of her damage doesn't care too much about those debuffs. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. This is too long. You know me, guys. I can't watch the Gru fight. Okay, so that's still three. That's solid damage. Like I said, her damage isn't modified too much. That wasn't too bad. 42, what are we at? 42, does that beat it? Not quite, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're on 11, 12, 13. 13 tickets in, still not enough. One more, 14 tickets in to get past stage four. That's not that good. It's decent because again, we're not testing with like a full E5 lineup or anything. It should be decent because they should hit her. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. She doesn't counterattack when she's blocked or when she's frozen. She still blocks. Oh, no, she's getting CC'd and so much of her damage comes from her passives. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean, she's an okay PvE here. I don't know if I'd call her that amazing because you got to remember too, she's also rocking almost V4. Granted, her her active would do a ton more damage with V4. I mean, it's nothing that impressive. It feels like Aspen damage numbers, right? Which that kind of says something. He's an older hero. We're taking quite a while to punch through this. It's okay. The one downside of running the Igni are our Death Sworn definitely stays alive the whole time. Hmm. Let's see what the damage is looking like. Uh, it's a bunch of like 8 to 10 million hits. That's not too bad. Go down a little bit. 190 million for basic. Or Wait, yeah, well, that was a basic. Good lord. Oh no, petrified for the last round. Are you serious? Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, she does, like, her numbers are pretty static. She doesn't have a big fluctuation. Again, we are using an Antler's Cane. We could try a Kiss of Ghost. I feel like a Kiss of Ghost might do better damage here. Be like it should. Let's do a hit right here and check the damage report. See if the numbers went up. We go down. Actually went down. Let's do another hit. Maybe that was due to a bunch of CC. You don't want to just take one number and take it as standard. Uh, okay, back higher again. Again, still lower. I think the Antler's Cane is the better choice. So if you have an upgraded Antler's Cane, could work pretty decently for you. Uh, I don't think we have another Antler's Cane, right? Nobody's... Ch oh, wait, what was that? What was that? <gasps> we do have another Antler's Cane. What am I doing? You fool, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> you fool what am i doing i need more here oh i need to also grab it off of her totally forgot we got an upgrade in it. okay you know what? i better just check do we have another antlers cane <laughs> does any random hero in my hero list have an antlers cane they need an unequip all button seriously still okay so we need seven thousand that's 4500 uh i kind of want to keep that one just in case We'll feed these off as well. Don't need to do all of them. Throw the randos in here. That works perfect. Cool. So we get all those resources. Get them antler canes in there. There we go. Perfect. Go back onto her. Does seem like, of course, the antlers cane just rules supreme when it does come to PvE with most heroes out there. Now let's check out the damage. Probably gonna be quite a bit more, right? Still about the same. It's a little bit better. There's a lot of variance due to CC here though. Let's just smash this one out. Okay. So we're about what? 
30 badges in, I think. That's that's not that great. Not amazing, not not horrible, but it is with like almost V4 essentially. Ay ay ay. Let's speed that back up. Now that I've used time three in broken spaces, it like feels way too, way too slow not using not using the speed button. It just feels like it's necessary. Heart Watcher is just staying CC'd almost the entire time. It feels bad. Oof, this wave might be really difficult. Granted, I don't think she's gonna die, but our support that's gonna give the damage buffs are gonna die. She does a lot of counterattacks. We'll slow it down for the last couple of rounds here. Okay, let's go back down to this here. Active, good damage. You can get to one more active. We should be able to, right? Because you get hit two more times. Oh, she's going to be just shy. No. Her basic just does nothing. She doesn't have a basic attack. Her basic attack essentially says attack a random enemy for no damage. That's not too bad, though. That really there is not too bad. So yeah, we're like over 50 in at this point with this type of lineup right here. We're probably going to want to throw an Amon Ra back on this team. Beating her actives, though, is really good because, her, like I said, her basic does nothing. If you could somehow give her an active every round, that would just be perfect. Now, this one's a little interesting because they hit random targets, so... It's really hard to place her in a spot where you're like, oh, she's definitely going to get hit every time. Double Ignis is doing better than I was thinking. Right here, though, double active. Okay, they're going to get tons of healing going here. Not bad. Heart Watcher goes down. She was kind of CC'd a bit there with the Horrifies. She didn't probably get maximum stacks up. Oh, that horrify kind of screwed her over right there. Yeah, I mean, she does good damage. It's just not amazing damage. I think that's the key note here. Like, it's, it's decent damage coming in, but not, like, game-breaking whatsoever. She's got an upgraded Antler's Cane. I mean, you saw a lot better damage numbers out of, like, Faith Blade. So as far as, like, pure PvE damage goes, not exactly the hero you want. It took over 100 tickets, I believe. I think that was the final tally. I actually don't remember. Hold on. You know what? You know what? I, I can check real quick. What's up, guys? Let me just mute this. We can see how many tickets we actually started with. Oh, not that one. Not that one. No, I can't. Sorry. Never mind. <laughs> oh, man. We got two more orange artifacts. Uh, nothing good, really. Nothing good. Let's open up this dark shard. Or should we? Oh, yeah, we should because four C's is finally in there. Give me a four C's. I mean, it's not horrible getting Omivore. Because if for some reason the Dark Transcendent Hero is not Das Moog, I'm going to need some Omivore copies. <laughs> but I don't know. She's she's I in like straight up PvE damage. Sea Land, she's amazing. We're going to test out Aspen Dungeon in a couple days on Brad's account again. That's, of course, the very early game account, not optimized. We're going to take her all the way from Hell 1 to Death 1 and then see what she can do in Death 1 Plus. Not too bad. I think the next video you'll probably see from her as well is seeing how she does in Realm's Gate and then probably Vortex as well. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Back to the evil mean team. Finally stuff to do on the account. And I'll see you guys next time.